The atomic age brought new possibilities. Nuclear energy was now able to be harnessed to create weapons of mass destruction and as alternative energy. The Soviet Union constructed nuclear power plants across their territories in an effort for clean energy and power, and also perhaps for some bombs as well. However, that effort exploded in 1986 in Ukraine. A catastrophic meltdown of a nuclear reactor released lethal radiation into the surrounding area. The incident led to entire towns being evacuated, never to return. Today, the Chernobyl disaster has become symbolic with the bleak effects of radiation, what man can do to the environment, and the closest glimpse to a nuclear apocalypse. Now this spurs the question, what would the world be like if the Chernobyl disaster never happened? Would atomic energy be perceived differently in this alternate timeline? Could there be other political and historical effects as well? But first, some context for those unfamiliar with the Chernobyl disaster. What is commonly known as Chernobyl was actually called the V.I. Lenin Nuclear Power Station, located near the city of Chernobyl. Today, the station is now simply known as the Chernobyl plant. In Soviet times, it was constructed and directly under the jurisdiction of the Moscow government itself. The plant was located in the city of Pripyat, which was constructed in 1970 by the Soviet government to house plant workers. On April 26, 1986, the lives of the citizens of Chernobyl, Pripyat, and countless others would be changed forever. In nuclear reactor 4, a routine safety test, ironic I know, was performed horribly wrong, as the normal safety protocols were bypassed, leading to the core itself exploding, destroying the roof, and sending graphite from the reactor across the area. The cause of the disaster can be for numerous reasons. The flawed design of the reactor and human error all played a part. Firefighters were sent in to deal with the fires caused by the explosion, and they stepped into a radioactive hotspot. The effects were immediate. They could feel the pain on their skin, their bodies facing the full force of nuclear radiation and all 31 would die from radiation sickness just months after. Within the day, the people of Pripyat began feeling that something wasn't right as well. Vomiting, dizziness were all symptoms beginning to be felt as radiation fell down upon them. The next day, evacuation orders were given to the surrounding area, including Pripyat. Buses were driven to move people to areas outside the immediate radiation zone. Communist Party messages blared from speakers in the town, telling the civilians to leave their belongings nobody ever returned to get them. Reports of the actual accident and evacuation of an entire city were not made public until two days after the disaster, and even then they were downplayed. The radiation was carried from the plumes of the smoke to regions farther than just Pripyat and Chernobyl. Winds carried the fallout where it eventually landed in areas of Ukraine, Russia, and Belarus. Radiation traveled from across the entire globe. Forests died nearby as radiation drifted from the sky and killed off the plants. As the situation deteriorated, emergency workers workers stopped the risk of a steam explosion, and liquidators picked up the highly radioactive debris now littering the entire site. To prevent more radiation from contaminating the environment, Soviet engineers went to work. After five months, a massive concrete and steel sarcophagus covered the exploded reactor, enclosing radioactive debris and material inside. This structure has helped prevent any radiation from further doing harm, yet in many areas, the environment was a shadow of its former self. So what would this alternate timeline be like if the Chernobyl disaster had never happened? Well, one obvious effect is that areas of Pripyat, Chernobyl, and other surrounding villages would continue to be inhabited by people. The Chernobyl exclusion zone would not exist. The Soviet Union still falls. It was suffering from far too many problems to stay afloat, however, it actually takes longer in this alternate timeline. The Chernobyl disaster affected the non-Russian people's relationship with the Soviet government. It opened to many eyes that the Moscow government would rather protect their own interests than the immediate health and safety of the people. The Chernobyl facility was directly run by the Soviet government. The government was responsible for the operations of the plant, the emergency response, and notification of such an emergency, all of which were failed by the Soviets. The scale of the catastrophe was downplayed at first, the classic Soviet way, but consequences between the government's words and the effects led to more disillusionment and distrust among the people of Ukraine and other non-Russian countries. Chernobyl was not simply an environmental disaster, but perhaps was one of the many cracks that led to the Soviets collapsing just a few years later. It was a symbol of a bloated, dying communist government on its last legs. What about the future of nuclear energy? If the Chernobyl disaster never occurred in this alternate timeline, would we see nuclear power plants overtaking coal and natural gas? No. The Three Mile Island accident in the 70s sparked the first massive protests against nuclear energy and the fear of accidents. Nuclear power began to lose its appeal by the 80s. I'm not here to debate the positives and negatives in nuclear power or not, 
What matters in this alternate timeline is the public perception of it. Chernobyl was a public relations disaster for nuclear energy. The nuclear power growth was already slowing down by the mid-80s, but the disaster killed the building of many new plants. Italy voted against nuclear power in the year following Chernobyl. Chernobyl made plants from around the world analyze and improve their own safety protocols and take better measures to prevent any such occurrence from happening. In this alternate timeline, even if Chernobyl never happened, there would be slightly more plants in this alternate timeline, as the fear from Chernobyl never leads to a dip in the growth of nuclear power. In this alternate timeline, the world never sees a catastrophic event like Chernobyl, as the disaster was a unique one. A combination of human error, design error, and Soviet corruption. Even Fukushima after the Japanese earthquake never reached the same radiation levels as Chernobyl, but that was simply because of the nature of the design. What do you think the world would be like if Chernobyl never happened? Say in the comments! This video idea was suggested by Patreon contributor Arthur D. Gonzalez-Martin. Thanks Arthur for your suggestion. This is Cody of the Alternate History Hub.